So the main motivation today for the Minecraft education and implementing uh, the project within the uh, schools in Jordan is to turn our classroom from a normal classroom to a interactive classrooms and to empower the teachers to have materials that can enable them to have their class more fun and more educative in terms of uh, education materials. Uh, the appetite of the students today learning with their teachers, they are now building, instead of just passively learning the material, they are building what they want to learn. And the teacher, they have a new communication channel with their you know, uh, students. The age gap and the technology gap is now a bit narrower with implementing Minecraft education within uh, our schools. The most um, precious moment, something that reminds us of the value of what we're doing, is in one of the field trips in Jarash, one of the students um, was using a mobile phone and uh, the, one of our colleagues was distributing stickers. So I asked her if we could use the sticker phone, if it's her phone. She said it's her grandmother's phone. So I was intrigued. I was like, how did you convince your grandmother to give you her phone to play Minecraft? And she said, anything that is related to education within our family is supported. This is our culture. This is where we innovate. We're here today and we're really proud that we're, we made something, you know. Uh, we have these four topics in our final project, the Trojan House, Renewable Energy School, the DNA World and the Cave Game. We had some, we faced actually some really good challenges, but we went through and we, we made just such a, I'm really proud. <laughs>